Hey guys, what's up? This is Nygmus bringing you another guide. Today I'm going to show you how to properly install Darnified UI and OBSE into Oblivion with Mod Organizer. So the reason why I'm doing this is because with the Steam Retail version of Oblivion, there's a lot of issues with Mod Organizer not working properly. I've heard supposedly that the disk version has like no issues. So I don't really know what's going on with Steam in this particular case, but because of that, we're going to have to do uh, a few workarounds. I don't think all of them are required for some people, but personally, I had to do all of them. So I might as well show you them because they don't really negatively affect the game in any way. So first step would be to download um, OBSC. So obsc.silverlock.org. Just download the current version, which is uh, 0.21 and or 21, depending on how you want to say that. And you just want to open it up. Then you want to open up your folder, any folder really. You want to go over to wherever you have uh, Oblivion installed. And so you want to open up your Oblivion folder like this. You want to just drag everything into there. Now you actually don't need a lot of this, like uh, this and like this, but I typically just drag everything because it's easier and I don't really mind the clutter. If you do, you can, whoops, if you do, you can go through and pick out the things you don't really want. Uh, just make sure you have all the, the things that look important, basically. I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't need the uh, SRC at all. But I digress. I think, actually, don't don't listen to me. I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure you don't. But either way, just put it in there. Better safe than sorry, as they say. So after you dragged that in, we've uh, successfully done OBSC at, at this point. Okay. So the next step you want to go is download Darnify UI. You want to download the archive version, not the OMOD. OMODs aren't supported in Mod Organizer. They never will be, as far as I'm concerned. So just get used to installing things with archives if it's an OMOD. In some future cases, you might have to use the Oblivion Mod Manager through Mod Organizer, but I don't like doing that, so I, I work around it. And so after you download it manually, or through the manager, I did manually, you just want to go to here, and you're going to want to go to wherever you have that folder. Um, where is mine? I have it right here, so then we want to open that. Yep, we want to just let it do what it's doing. And so we want to go here. We want a ticket to enable it. Now, at most points, people think they're done here, and then they launch the game, and it doesn't work, and they don't understand. So now here comes the bunch of extra shit we're going to have to do. Okay, so we're gonna. the first thing we're going to do is just, just make sure that you go to up here to your settings. Go to your workarounds. You want to put the load mechanism to script extender. Otherwise, it doesn't properly launch through uh, launch uh, OBSC, it'll just launch normal. And so you want to do that, and then you also want to do, uh, not not that yet, we want to go to here, to your profile, manage, and then when you're on defaults, you want to automatic archive and validation. If you've not done an in archive and validation yet, you need to do that, just check that. And we're gonna go back to the settings, we're gonna go to workaround, and we're gonna do backdate BSAs. And, um, this will basically set the date of the BSA so they're loaded properly. This can create issues, so just do this because it's it's good to have because if you install the game, it's going to put all the BSA dates at the same time. So we're going to want to do that. And so after we're doing that, we're almost done here, at least for this part. We're going to want to go to edit over here to your executables. Make sure you're on 1.3.11 and not 1.3.10. Um, Point 10 has really big issues where you can't add executables. And I couldn't figure that out for like 10 minutes. So I was like, why the hell wouldn't let me do this? So make sure you're on the most recent version and not on point 10. Because point 10 has major issues. So you're going to want to go down to this drop box, hit edit. And then you're going to want to go title. I named mine Steam. And you're going to want to put the binary as wherever your steam.exe is located. You can search for it. And then your augment or ar argument. No, your augment. Yeah, I don't know why I said argument. Uh, you want to use this code. Uh, I will leave this in the description, or you can copy it, as you see on screen. This basically makes it so when it launches Steam, it doesn't actually launch Steam. It directly launches Oblivion. That's uh, Oblivion's app launch code. And so you just want to save it for me, and, or add it. For me, it's modified because I already have it. All right, so we now already have this set up. Now, we no longer need this app launch. Now, OBSC, don't save. OBSC should now work 100%. Like, the OBSC, if OBSC does not work at this point, then there's some major issues going on and you need to like, just make sure you followed everything in the guide because OBSC at this point is set up. Now we're moving on to how we set up Darn UI. So you want to right click Darn UI because typically now that OBSC is set up, you'd launch a game, 
but then none of the files would be replaced. Like none of the text would be replaced, but you have it installed. So why is it doing that? That's because you have to actually edit the any, but we're not going to edit the any because we don't want to make the any dirty and we want to make it easy to replace. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go to right click and you do information. You have the images. You can click on the image to see the text they have. You want to go to any files. You want to create a tweak. We're going to name ours fonts. So we have fonts any. Now we're going to go over to the file tree. And when you see, you can see the fonts that we currently have. And if you go to the custom files, fonts, we can see all the different fonts that we see over here at this. So now what, what are we going to do with these? We're going to go back to darn UI. We're going to go to the description. And depending on if you want large or normal fonts, I want normal fonts. We're going to go like this, copy all of that. Open up mod organizer again. We're going to go back to the any files. And now to make this an any tweak, make sure you have this selected click over here. Then just paste all this. Okay. Enable it and save. Okay. Currently the game should work. I say this, but we'll see. Okay. Currently the game should work 100% with darn UI. Yeah, okay. We can see this is darn UI because of how big the, the save is. We're just going to load some random saves so you can fully see that the UI is working fine. As it should, if you followed everything. Yeah, no, darn UI is working fine. This is how it's supposed to work. Everything's good. Alright, but this is default darn UI. Like if you saw at the menu, through these menus and stuff, that's default darn UI. Now, if you're wanting to install a custom text, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you don't want a custom font, then you can now end the video because I've shown you how to do this. But moving on to that, we have to go back to the any files. And this first line, S font file one. This will change the menus, specifically the main menu. Uh, these change other things, but if you look at the uh, this number next to these, those are the font sizes. So when we go over to the images, you can see the font sizes. So if you put like a like Knight's Quest 36 font into a 14 font location, it's going to completely screw up the game. So typically you can't really change this one. You might be able to change that one to like one of the 20s and it might not look terrible as in I'm pretty sure there's only one 20, which is Endor. You might be able to change that to Endor without it looking really weird because it'll try to fit the text into that one spot and it'll just get really blocky and stack on each other. So you don't want to do that. Uh, you could edit this one. I'm not really sure what handwritten does. I think that's for like uh, scrolls and stuff, but um, either way. So now we have the default font, but I don't want the default font. I'm going to go over the images. Um, let's see. I want to use this gushing meadow font. I don't actually want to use that font. We're using it as an example. So we're going to go to custom files to fonts. And so now we're going to grab gushing meadow text and font. We're going to, we're going to drag it down. And we're going to drop it into the fonts folder. Okay. So now we're going to open that up. Whoops, not docs, fonts. And so we have confirmed that Gushing Meadows is in here. Okay. And so that's a size 28 font. So now we're going to go over to any files right here. And we're going to take this. And now what you have to notice is that for a while I was just trying to put Gushing Meadow because this one doesn't have uh, the prefix of darn. But you need to put darn, make sure all your capitalization is right, underscore. Whoops. Gushing Meadow 28. Okay. So now we have that saved. Now you can do this with any font. You just need to make sure that you're adding the, the, uh, darn prefix to it, because if you just put them in, it's not going to work. They all have the darn prefix. So you should be able to just put Don pre uh, darn prefix, which you can see it under the file. They all have darn. Okay. So now we've done this. So now when we go in the menus should be uh, the Gushing Meadow font, which I think looks awful, but we're just using it as an example. Yeah, okay, we can already see it on the loading screen. Here we go. We have the Gushing, the Gushing Meadow font, okay? So that's my guide for how to install Darn UI. If you still are having any issues, make sure you rewatch the video and see that you didn't make any mistakes. And if you still did, I will try to help remedy your situation. But honestly, I've looked around for hours and hours. And these uh, these are pretty much the collection of every fix I could find to make this work. And it finally worked for me. So uh, that's how to properly install OBSC and Darn UI. 
Uh, this is Enigmas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. If you want me to do guides for any other Oblivion mods for Mod Organizer specifically, because I don't really do other installers unless it's required, like OBMM, um, then just drop a comment. All right, guys. Peace.